Hey, do you want to learn how to download and use Keymove keyboard software? Currently, I've got K98SE by Keymove, and I'm going to show you how to download the software for it and use it inside my PC. So let's get to it. So you need to go over here on keymove.com and on it, over here on these tabs, you need to hover on this drivers download, then click on driver central. It's going to take you over here, scroll down. You're going to find your keyboard model here. So if you've got K61 or K68SE, you can download it for Mac from here. I've got K98SE, so I'm going to go here and click on download button to download it for my computer on Windows. Once you have downloaded the .exe file, install it. It's a very easy process. Just scroll through the steps. Once you've done it, you'll be able to search for it by clicking on the start menu, then search for Keymove and click on this app. Now I'm going to disconnect my keyboard and open it up. Now you can see here that it says looking for device, please connect your device. All right, so in order to do this, we have got this type C cable that came inside the box. So I'm just going to connect it to my computer and the other part, I'm going to connect it to the keyboard on the back side over here. Just connect it like this. And you're going to find that our keyboard is now connected with the software. Now, once you've connected it, you're probably going to find it like this in the white theme. You can change it to the dark theme by clicking on this on the top right. Click on this cog icon and then switch to the dark theme from here. Uh, startup language, you can switch from here. Startup add boot, you can do that. You can minim minimize to tray, don't exit. You can do that. Exit program, software updates and a lot more. So let's go back here. So this is the home page. I've got this keyboard connected so I can go inside it. This is key. So if you want to change the key to something else, for example, if I want to remap this key, mute key to my upper arrow key, I can just click on it and it's going to say mute here. So when I press on the up arrow key, it's going to mute the computer like this. And we have also got shortcut here. So if you want the up arrow key to act as show desktop or switch windows, etc., you can do that. So I can click here on show desktop. And when I press on the up arrow key, it's going to show the desktop like this. All right. So let's uh, reset it. So I'm going to click here to reset. On the next tab, there is macro. So you can do this over here. And then you can assign it on the keyboard by clicking on this macro and then assigning it. Next up, we've got light. So we can switch between different light effects here. Let's say, for example, I'm currently on this neon stream. I can change the speed and brightness of it. I can make it low in brightness. I can make it really bright. I can change the speed here. You can also do this directly on the keyboard as well. I'm going to make another video on it later. So here you have got sine wave. So when I switch on it, you can see that it changes on the keyboard. There's reaction as well. This reaction basically means, let's say I press anything on the keyboard is going to react with my key press. That's what it does. We've got retro snake, stars, and a lot more. You've got user light. If you want to import your own light config, you can do that, export and import, etc. You can see as I switch between these, they change. We've also got fixed on, if you just want the color to stay, fixed color don't have an option to change the keyboard color it's going to stay in this cyan or blue light that it shows you will not be able to change it to red or a different color so yeah that's what it is and we can disable the light effect from here it's just going to turn off the light for the music tab i'm going to play a music for it first so i'm going to go to yt music over here and click on play all right, the music is playing on YD Music and you can see that it's currently reacting to the music. The keyboard has this lights pop up like this and on the software as well, as you can see on screen. So they don't have any other mode other than rhythm, other than cyan in rhythm. You can change the amplitude and increase it. So just increase it like this, drag it to the right or left to decrease it. And as I decrease it to 0%, you can see that the lights stop. So if I increase it to 100%, it starts reacting more to the music. Now this amplitude is maybe you just want it to stay at 50%, even though your volume on 
white music is high. So this is just a limiter. If I want to reduce it to 50%, but I want it to be at 100%, it's going to act like this. That was it for music. We can go to settings next. We've got keyboard version here, which is 1.05. At the time of making this video, you can upgrade from here, but currently it says not upgrade because there's no version to upgrade to. It's currently on the latest version. You can also, you can also restore the keyboard to factory settings in case there's some issue with it. You can restore it to factory settings from here. That's it. That's how to download and use the KeyMove software for K98 SE keyboard. I hope this video helped solve a problem. If it did, let me know with a like and comment. And on the right hand side, you can find more KeyMove and other keyboard related tutorials. So see you there and bye for now.